Hello, you beautiful people. Welcome back to another episode of What's Going to Happen in the Paint Tonight? <laughs> As the paint turns. Got to come up with a cool little opening. Why don't you guys leave some comments and give some suggestions other than what can Tammy screw up tonight? <laughs> I've already used that one. All right, so what you see in front of you are two canvases that are 8x10 wood panels, artist panels from Hobby Lobby. Um, they are re-pours. I was not happy with what is underneath them. And I didn't even want to show you guys them because I knew I would get yelled at because certain areas of them turned out really pretty and then certain areas didn't. So, I just went and covered it. What you don't know won't hurt you. So, my thought is, as I block your view with my arm, my thought tonight is I love, love, love green. And I want to do a pour using the new Lucky Green by Lorez, which is probably now my favorite color. And I want to follow that with some of the Deep Ocean Green by Lorez, which is a transparent, along with some Molten Gold by Lorez, and maybe, just maybe, some of this glitter that I mixed up, like a mermaid glitter. We will see. I'll show you the colors. This it has to be my favorite color of all time. And that is the Lucky Green. I am just in love with it. I think I've used it in every pore since I've gotten it. This here is the Deep Ocean Green. And like I said, it is a transparent color. It doesn't look it right now. But see how you can see the stick through there? It is, it is transparent. You can see through it. Um, here is the gold. Luscious, luscious gold is so beautiful. And the black I'm using tonight is Stone Coat. I ran out of my Midnight Black by Lorez, so I'm using the Stone Coat. Um, let's see what else. Oh, when you use a transparent color with an opaque color personally i think they work the best when you put the opaque color down first and then you use the transparent color sorry about that use the transparent color over the top of the opaque color so the opaque color can come through the transparent i will show you an example of that as i make this All right, so I put down the black. You saw me torch it. I'm going to torch it again really quick. I need to lower my voice a little bit because my daughter is trying to sleep in the next room. It's midnight, and I'm finally getting around to doing this. Okay, should be good now. I only see one cat here today. That's actually a good thing so far. It'd be a lot worse by the time I'm done. And you know what? My cats don't come in here, but it's on my clothes. It's just in the air. You can't avoid it. So here we go. I'm going to use the Lucky Green first. And what I'm going to do is just pour some in like a puddle and then slowly thin it out to where it's just a little tiny bloop. And 
then I'm going to do the same thing right here. didn't work out so well but by the way when you do two canvases together at the same time it's called a dip pick I don't know why if it's three it's called a trip tick now trip tick I can understand because of try means three dip I don't know dual maybe I don't know <laughs> So now that I made my blobs big, big, small, small, I'm going to go in the opposite here. I'm going to go just like that. Right? Yeah. Oh, that one didn't necessarily come out the way I wanted it to, but it'll work. All right, so now the transparent, which is the deep ocean green, I'm going to, let's see what it looks like right outlining almost this area. Just so I could blow it up over the lucky green. And I don't want to use a lot of it. This right here reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas when Jack Skellington walks out onto the branch and it opens up. That's what it reminds me of. If you've never seen that movie, you know, won't know what I'm talking about. But Even though it's a kid's movie, it's an awesome movie. I love it. And then I got to get some gold in there. The glitter and maybe a little more gold will come after I move things around. So let's see here. Do this. I totally did not mean to do that. I just whacked my cup through the whole canvas. Do a little swoosh here. A little bit there. Okay. So now I'm going to get my heat gun out and try to move it a little bit, see what happens. I like to go over the whole piece a little bit and get it nice and warm.
before I go any further, I need to use more of the deep ocean green. I can already tell. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer to that, to this uh, lucky green and the gold. Maybe actually just swirl some through the gold. Okay, now I can continue forward. Look at this, how pretty. Gonna let that sit for a second while I work on this one a little bit. Just stretching it out a little bit. Open up a little bit of those cells. Do the same over here. And then I definitely have to work on this here, this area. So I'm going to add a little more gold just right through here. That I'm going to leave alone for now. And then I have a little more black in the cup here that I'm going to kind of outline that gold that I just put down. I'm going to just go around it a little bit.
looking at the glitter and just trying to decide. This one I like a lot over here. I don't think I'm going to touch that one. This one is still bothering me a little bit. Not caring for the movement. Let's do this. Give that a little try. Much better. Now, glitter. I have a little bit of uh, clear I have reserved here. I'm going to dump a bunch of this glitter in there. We're going to see how this bounces off these. Uh, greens and gold. I mix it up really thick so it doesn't run. You see how thick that is? It's like plopping off. Because if it's too runny, then it spreads out. And it doesn't stay in a nice small area. So let's try... Down here in the corner, I want to see what it looks like. This may be a little too thick. It's really like, bam, with that green. Just adding a little more clear in it. That was really, really thick. It's definitely sparkly. That is for sure. It like doesn't go, but it looks good with it. If that makes sense. Try up here. My painting is not level here because it's pulling away from the sides. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to ixnay the uh, glitter. I do have something else I have to use it on, so it's not a big deal. Just 
just covering up here. So now what I'll have to do is just drag this off of the canvas, which is not, that's why I did a little corner so that if I didn't like it, I could just scrape it off and pour some green over it. And bye-bye, it's all gone. And these are just the finishing touches here that I'm doing. I have some uh, edges showing, so I just want to make sure they're good and covered. And then what I'll do is just blow that little bit out right there and then take you guys in for a close-up. So I like those a lot better than the first thing I did. All right, guys, I do apologize for the glare. Here we go. You can see those colors reaching out into the black. I love when it does that. So I have a couple of announcements to make. Oh, how can I avoid this glare? There's some cool stuff going on right there. All right, so announcements. I have finally busted through the 2,000 mark for subscribers. I almost jumped through the roof today. I was so freaking excited. I, um, gonna lose all my subscribers if I don't fix this glare. Um, <laughs> I got 50 new subscribers overnight and I was like, wow. I was just so ecstatic. I have worked so hard. You know, I don't have the best setup for recording. And I do the best I can. And I'm only doing this to help people. And to make some fun art. And, um... I was just so humbled by that. And, um... Also, I got another donation from Miss Lisa Wyatt. Thank you so much, Lisa. You... Are truly an angel um, it's just been a total blessing this whole thing I've made so many new friends and it has helped me come out of my shell and um, I am just so appreciative um, also uh, I, I you know it's just hard for me to explain my feelings I, I'm just so grateful so, with that being said, I need to have another giveaway. So, I am going to be forced to put makeup on and put my ugly mug on camera for you guys tomorrow. So, be looking for that video. For details, uh, last time I did a gift card, don't know if I'll do that again. Um, for me, that's the easiest. And I know you guys like to art and these things, as you know, are very costly. And 
that's why I like to do the gift card to help you guys buy some supplies. But then I got yelled at and said that, you know, I should do a piece of art. Anybody can get money. <laughs> that's what I was told. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll leave it up to the winner. Um, let them pick a piece of art or a gift card, whatever they want. But I'll do that video tomorrow. And um, also, a couple of mentions. For people in the UK that want to buy Lorez, there is a person who is like a distributor for the product so that you guys don't have to pay an extreme amount of shipping costs from Australia. That person's name is Simone. And I'm going to link all this information in the bottom of this video. But what you have to do is you go to SusannaDanks.com, which is listed below. And in the coupon section, you are going to put the word Simone in that box. What that does is it signals Susanna that you are in the UK and that you need to have your pigments come from Simone. And then this way it saves you on the shipping. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing, I get a lot of questions about um, how to do this and what does this mean. I wanted to let you guys know that I'm fine answering your questions. This is only a resource. There is a community on Facebook called Fluid Art Community with Susanna Danks. Um, there are a bunch of talented artists on there who are so helpful, very friendly. So I'm going to link that Facebook group also in the bottom of this video. So if I can't answer you, or if, you know, I'm usually really good about answering people within a couple of hours, if not one day. Um, sorry, there's like, my window is about to blow in. I don't know where that one came from. So usually, you know, I get right back to people. But if I can't and you need the answer right away, it's a, a good community to be a part of. And there's, you know, contests and just so much beautiful art and inspiration so I will link that below check that out and I believe that's it I, I have uh, for US orders for Lorez I have Laura's information in the description box and um, check out the new colors she's got some beauties there and you see right here this lucky green that is no joke that is straight up art porn right there, that color. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And make sure if you like my video, you subscribe. Click the little bell to be notified. And don't forget to be on the lookout for that subscriber giveaway video tomorrow. I hope you all have a great night and happy pouring.